Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. Today we got a um, a marathon, and uh, we're gonna do um, basically half of the. Um, this is the C album from the Water Boys. Now the Water Boys. I just did something yesterday related to the Water Boys, so I just wanna. Take a little look real quick here. Uh, first of all, of course, I wanted to thank uh, JK for this marathon. Thank you for making the video happen. Thank you for sponsoring this video. I do appreciate it very much. And um, But yeah, let me take a little look here real quick at the Water Boys because yesterday when Alexia and I did a reaction video together, um, she said, oh, the Water Boys and, and then... I was like, okay, um, maybe I should mention this, but let's see here. The Water Boys. Oh, they're from Scotland. Okay, Scotland. Folk Rock. Okay. And there's someone here. Give me one second. The members. Hmm. Mike Scott. Okay. Well, maybe not, you know, maybe, but she did say something, um, man, maybe I can't put one on one together, but well, it doesn't matter. Let's just enjoy this. We're going to do, um, pretty much like half of the album here. Um, so we're going to start it off with, um, the first track of the album. It's don't bang the drum, right? And then the whole of the moon, it's the second song. Then we're going to do the Pan Within, which is the fourth song on this album. And then we're going to close it with This Is The Sea, which is the last song, the ninth song. So yeah, so pretty much we're doing, I guess, the best of, um, uh, at least that's what JK wanted me to do. So I'll be happy to, to listen to this and I'm very excited and I haven't done a marathon in a couple of days because we're super busy and we had... um. Alexia's mom here. It was great. We had a we had a great time. So here we go um with the with the marathon. Um Don't Bang the Drum. This came out in 1985. And um perfect. So here we go. Thank you so much, JK, and everyone who's new to the channel. Welcome. I hope you do enjoy. Let's see uh my reaction to this music. Here we go. intro that was some major Ennio Morricone vibes right there you know Ennio Morricone from the beautiful spaghetti westerns that uh, Sergio Leone did in Italy oh my god that's like I love that music I'm a huge sucker for scores and Ennio Morricone for me is right up there with John Williams you know and uh, Hans Zimmer and all the other greats there's so many but this was beautiful, so I'm sorry for interrupting, but this was just very nice. Let's go.
What I like about this is that I can't identify any other band I've heard with that style. You know, it's just very, it's like in the 80s, but it doesn't sound that's in the 80s. It just sounds like more independent, very original. I love that sax coming in. Um, I love the thickness of the sound. It's very good, man. And I love the way he sings. And I'm not saying the voice is anything like what I'm going to say, but the way he like he delivers the singing is like it reminds me a little of um of the stones of uh, Mick Jagger like Mick Jagger doesn't really do scales he's more like talking it's more like you know like the way he like the way when i've all, every time i listen to a, like a rolling stone song i'm like how this way that he delivers this, you know, um, is very sp spoken. It's a misspoken. And it's um because Mick Jagger, I mean, his voice is not very, like, it's not David Bowie or, you know, Elton or I don't know. It's, but it's it's good. And it's the way he delivers this these lyrics is a little bit like that, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I really like it. It's very original. I love the intro and I love the whole boom, bam, boom, bam. you know, it's really good, really cool. Um, and I love the constant sax in the background just chiming in. Really, really cool. Thank you. <laughs> remind me a little bit of like talking heads the, the the small amount of music i've heard of talking heads but i don't know i'm just you know i try i always try to cling on something to compare and i don't know if that's wrong but i think it's also nice because you can say well maybe yeah you know um but um maybe i'm completely off so i've only heard like two three songs of the talking heads but for example i just heard the other day talking heads the uh um oh, such a cool song with the on fire something fire burning down the house yeah really cool and i was like oh man i would have loved to do that as a reaction with alexia but 
man, I heard it and now it's, you know, <laughs> we can't react to it because it's not a reaction. You know, it's like I already heard it. So that's the dilemma that we currently face with all these CDs here in the background. I wish I could just, you know, let me do that. It's not focused. I, I wish I could just like, you know, plunge myself into them and just listen to them. Let's see if that works. Yeah, it worked. And, and, but we can't because then what are we going to react to? You know, we basically eliminate all this material that we could like, you know, react to. So, so that's why we don't do it. Okay. So now we're going to continue the whole, the whole, not whole as in where you fall in, but whole as a whole of the moon. Here we go. And then I, I'm like, uh, I'm here on Wikipedia, you know, trying to figure out what style this is. And it doesn't really sound like, um, like folk rock or, or Celtic. It sounds more like, I don't know. It sounds big. It sounds. And then, and then they said, how, oh, this is the sound is like a majestic, you know, it's majestic. And I'm like, yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. And then, and then, and I was thinking it reminds me a little bit of you too, you know, um, I know I was a big fan of this one album that I bought, um, 
I don't know when, it's like 2000s or something. And it was like, lemon, you know, really cool. And um, that song was on there. And it was, it, I, maybe not the, the vocalist, but the music just it reminds me of that kind of style. And here it sounds, it says, um, combined rock and roll sounds of early U2 with elements of classical trumpet, jack saxophone, and um, it just says here, can be described as rich, dramatic, sound majestic. And I was like, that's what I was looking for. So yeah, um, just wanted to stop there, but I like this. It's not so complex. It's it's just it's just good, you know, it just sounds good and and and, and it and it's not so many changes. And and I listen to a lot of music that has all these like time signatures and, and changes, but this is a nice um change of pace. And I think it's very good. So let's go back a little bit. I just wanted to, you know, chime in really. You saw the whole of the moon. The whole of the moon. Hey, yeah. You were the crowns and cannonballs, palaces and spears, trumpets, towers and settlements, wide oceans full of tears. that one okay the pen will then
just like this music very much. I don't know why. It's just very good. And I think this music is must be amazing live. Like in a stadium, just because it's very you can dance to this. It's very boom ba boom boom ba boom ba boom boom ba. It's the same rhythm, you know? It's like I think it's four four and you can just dance and you don't have to worry about like you know like it's just dum ba dum 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 ba dum dum bum ba dum 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 and then the da 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 the violin and it's just very good you know it's it's just feel good music man it's like nothing complex it doesn't want to be it's just music and it's just good you know so Cool, really, really cool. It's a nice discovery. I'm gonna play this to Alexia in the car, and she's gonna freaking love it. I know, I know she will. This is the C, last track on the album. Here we go.
that was the river This is the sea two chords it's two chords and it's good you know it's obviously mostly lyrical i don't have the lyrics pulled up but i can it's very heavily leaning toward the lyrics are the 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 mission of this this band you know it's more about the lyrics than about the music the the music is obviously very good and but it's it's very it's more simple it doesn't need to be so you know, all over, you know, so I like this, it's just a different, it's like I said, it's a change of pace, it's a different style of music, and it's very enjoyable, you know, it's like, I can see myself driving to this, and just like, chill, you know, and, but I can also see this music being played at the end of a movie, when, you know, the credits roll, it's just like something you can, sink your teeth in and just like enjoy and it's very simple and uh music doesn't have to be as complex as we listen to it you know like something like dream theater or rush or yes or kansas you know um this is more like it, it feels more now i'm getting the folk vibe because especially with this acoustic one here it's just you know dum -da 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 -dum -da 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 dum -da 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 dum and that's the two chords and then they might go into some bridge or other verse but it's not really necessary it's really good as you try to decide you've got a war in your head and it's tearing you up inside you're trying to make sense Something that you just don't see Trying to make sense now And you know that you once held the key But that was the river And this is the sea Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. 
It's coming on down the line It's yours if you hurry You got still enough time And you don't need no ticket And you don't pay no fee And now you don't need no ticket You don't pay no fee Because that was the river And this is the sea That was a river This is the sea That was the river This is the sea That was the river This felt almost like live, you know, it felt the way it felt very like high up, like the sound with a lot of reverb and uh, that acoustic guitar. For a second, I thought they were playing live, you know, it sounded very live. And I think that's a good thing, you know, if you can make that happen in the studio to get like this live um, vibe. Um I love how he was pounding on those acoustic strings, but he did still had the dynamics to, you know, quiet it down at the end. And, uh, and it's very good. I, I, it's a very, and I love that they're touring, you know, they're doing well. So, um, this is obviously a band that a lot of people do enjoy listening to. So this was a great experience. I mean, right off the bat, I, I enjoyed it. You know, I would say otherwise, if, <laughs> something sucks I mean for me you know but again who am I you know to judge but I just want to be honest you know if you make a request and I don't like it then I will be will be very vocal about it you know and I, I have been and you know I, I know it sucks but sometimes music is not for everyone but um some styles you know but um it has happened that I've played music to someone my friends and they're like, ah, no, you know, um, it happened to me when I, one of my friends, I played them dream theater for the first time and they were like, turn it off, you know, and they were like metal into metal. And I was like, wow, you don't like this? No. <laughs> so it happens, you know, everyone has different tastes. So, but this was great. Thank you so much, JK, for this experience. It was a very nice one. Very cool band, very nice discovery, very different from what we usually do here on the channel. But I love that there's more and more people, you know, throwing different styles at, at the channel, at Alexia and me. So it's um, it's not just all 70s. It's not just all prog or metal or, or instrumental stuff, you know, or guitar players. It's also sometimes something very simple can also reach a lot of people in hearts. So... Thank you so much for this, and I do appreciate it, and I hope everyone enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Was this something that you like? Are you still into the Waterboys? Do you still listen to them? Did you have a phase, or do you don't like them at all? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for being here, and we'll see each other in the next video. Take care.